Hello everybody and welcome to Krista So Crafty. My name is Krista and today we are going to be discussing the attach feature in Cricut Design Space which is part of my beginner series which I will link down in the description below. Why do we want to use attach? The thing you want to use attach for is for example when you're making a card. As you can see here I have a square rectangle created that is 10 inches wide by 5 inches in height. So I want to make a card and I want to have it fold across here. So I'm going to go over to shapes and I'm going to choose this line here which is the score line and I am going to bring it over and make it as wide as my paper. I'm going to select both of those and I'm going to choose center vertically. I want that score line to be right in the dead center of this. Okay so now it is. This is where the attach feature comes in to play. Most people would think, okay, well, if I select both the square, sorry, the rectangle and the score line, and I just click group, well, they're going to be all grouped together now. I should be able to click on make it and it'll be fine. But let me show you what happens. If I click on make it, what Cricut does is it separates the score line onto one mat and the card onto the second mat, which is not what we want. So we'll click cancel. If that happens, just click cancel, go back in, highlight both of these and click on the attach. You'll see that the uh, paper clip, so to speak, that was there now has a, a line through it. That means that they're attached. Now when I click on make it, it's all on one mat. Cricut will score the line on the paper and then it will cut out the shape. Okay, so that's one way to use it. Another way to use it is for being as this is a card, I want to have writing on the front. So I'm going to choose some text and I'm going to type thank you for supporting my channel. Let's do that for supporting my, uh, let's see, my YouTube channel. Whoops, there we go. Some days my fingers don't want to type. So I have my words. I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to center align them, make it a little bit smaller. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change this, change the font because I want like a script font. So let's just choose I don't know, this one here. Okay, so now that I have that, but this is at Right now it's a cut. So if you look over here on the right, it's a basic cut. I don't want it to cut. I want it to draw it on here. So I'm going to go up to operation and I'm going to change it to draw and to pen. When I do that, now it changes, but you'll see that it's kind of bulky. I'll make it bigger so you can see. See how it's kind of chunky? If I go to style and click on the drop down arrow, I can change this to writing. Now it's going to change it to a writing font. So like you and I would write if we were using a pen and paper, right? So here we go. So I will just move this over, get this centered the way I want it. And that would be part of my card. And again, we can go up to a line and we're going to, what are we going to do? Um, no. I'll get that lined up the way I want. I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. I don't want to do too much otherwise it'll look distorted but there. I like that. So now again I can't just group it. I need to attach it. When I do attach now when I click on make it you'll see I have my card, I have my score line and I have my writing and you'll see over on the left here it shows you just that. The first thing Cricut will do is it's going to score, then it's going to, so it'll ask you to put the little scoring tool in there, then it will ask you when that's done, ask you to put the pen in there, when that's done, then it will cut out the card and then it will be done. So that's kind of the difference between the score and, not the score, I'm sorry, the attach feature and group. You don't want to use group because yes, group will group it, but it won't keep it together when it goes to cut it 
print it, write it, whichever, whatever it is you're wanting it to do. That's what the attach feature is for. So I really hope that you found this useful. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Thank you for, thank you for sticking with me today and I'll talk to you soon. Happy crafting.